Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you're watching JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about arithmetic operators. So let's get started. All right. So I have opened the project folder in Sublime Text and I have created arithmetic-operators.html file inside the project folder. And I have written the following HTML code inside the HTML file. And inside the JS folder, I have created arithmetic-operators.js file, which is this one. And it is empty at the moment. And inside this HTML file, I've included this JS file by writing this script tag. So I have set the SRC to JS slash arithmetic-operator.js. Now we'll go ahead and open this in Chrome. And we'll open the developer tools. All right. We have five arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators. We have addition, that is the plus sign. Multiplication, which is star. Subtraction, which is hyphen. Division, which is forward slash. And modulus, which is percentage. So we have addition using the plus operator. Multiplication using the star operator subtraction using the minus or the hyphen operator division using the forward slash and modulus using the percentage sign modulus is used to find remainder and we'll cover all these operators in this video so let's talk about addition so let's say we have two variables var x equal to 10 and var y equal to 20 so to add the two values, we use the addition operator that is the plus sign. So we can save the result in let's say another variable result and we can write x plus y. And if we console log result, we'll get 30. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get the output 30. Next operator is the multiplication operator. So multiplication and we use the star symbol for multiplication that is to multiply two values. So let's say we have two variables, let's say a and the value is four and we have another variable b and the value is five. And if we want to multiply a and b, and let's say we want to console log it so we'll write a star b and if we check this in console we'll get 20. so if we reload the page we get the output 20. next is subtraction so and for subtraction we use the hyphen or the minus sign so let's say if we have two variables m and it is let's say 20 let's say the second variable is n and the value is 30 so if we console log m minus n we are going to get minus 10 so if we go back to chrome and reload we get minus 10. we can also subtract fractional values so let's say 0.5 and let's say 0.5 and if we go back to chrome and reload we still get minus 10. next is the division operator and we use the forward slash for division so let's say division let's say we have a variable u and the value is let's say 4 and let's say another variable is v and the value is 2 so if we console 
log u divided by v, we are going to get 2 as the output. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get 2 as the output. We can also divide fractional values. So let's say if the value of u is 5.2 and the value of v is 5. So if we divide u by v, we'll get 1.04. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get the value 1.04. The next operator is the modulus operator and we use the percentage sign for modulus. Modulus operator is used to find the remainder when we divide one value with the other. So for example, modulus, let's say we have a variable let's say c and the value is 5 and let's say we have another variable var d and let's say the value is 2 and if we want to find the remainder if we divide 5 by 2 that is c by d so we'll write c mod operator d and this will give us 1 because if we divide 5 by 2 we get 1 as remainder. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get the value 1. And this is the remainder we get when we divide 5 by 2. We have two more operators increment and decrement. Increment is plus plus and decrement is minus minus. This means we are adding 1 and this means we are subtracting 1. So let's say if we have a variable var let's say j and we have set the value to 10 then if we write j plus plus then we are incrementing the value of j by 1. So if we now console log j will get the output 11. So if we go back to Chrome, clear and reload, we get the value 11. So this increment operator is a shorthand for j equal to j plus 1. Similarly, we have the decrement operator or the minus minus. And this is to subtract 1 from a variable. So let's say if we have a variable var k equal to 10. And if we write k minus minus, then the value of k will become 9. So if we console log k, then we'll get 9 as the output. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get 9 as the output. So we have this two shortcuts, increment and decrement, that is the plus plus and minus minus operator. And this minus minus is shorthand for k equal to k minus 1. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com. And all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the links in the video description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.